Welcome to today's video, where we bring you the latest news and insight about China's impressive projects. Today, we're discussing China's shocking $16 billion cross-sea bridge project in Brazil. Let's see how China got the opportunity to showcase its engineering expertise by building a flawless cross-sea bridge in Brazil. Brazil had initially chosen Japan to build the Moore River Bridge, but after the bridge collapsed due to poor material quality, Brazil turned to China for its next mega-project of cross-sea bridge construction. As we delve into the story, we'll explore the challenges faced by China in building the El Salvador Bridge and how it succeeded in constructing a technologically advanced and sophisticated structure. But before we move forward, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons below to stay updated with our latest videos. So let's get started. Among these superpowers, China is known for its flawless building superiority. However, due to Brazil's pro-American government, they cannot approach China for construction projects, even if it's more suitable for their needs. Regardless of disagreements with U.S. policy, Brazil has no choice but to accept and comply with it. Brazil has faced several challenges in constructing large infrastructure projects. For instance, the Moore River Bridge was a significant issue for the locals of Belen City, as crossing the river with cars and vehicles was impossible. This caused transportation issues that resulted in detours and lengthy journeys to the other side of the city. As a result, Brazil held an international public bidding competition to find a capable bridge builder. Construction companies from various countries participated in the bidding. But only China and Japan could construct such a bridge. Brazil acknowledged China's expertise in constructing such a bridge, but it had to choose Japan, a U.S. partner, as Brazil's government cannot approach China for construction projects. Furthermore, Japan offered to construct the bridge at a lower cost to qualify for the project, which influenced Brazil's decision to choose Japan. The construction of the 860-meter bridge commenced after Japan was selected to construct it. Brazil's reliance on U.S. policy and partnership influenced its decision to choose Japan over China for the Moore River Bridge project. When construction of the Moore River Bridge was completed and it was opened to the public, it provided a quicker and more efficient mode of transportation for the locals. Unfortunately, a ferry hit a part of the bridge after some time, resulting in a major collapse that caused the death of three people and injured 15 others, creating a disturbance in Brazil and Japan. Japan apologized for the loss and offered to repair the bridge, but it stated that Brazil had to bear the cost of the repair. Japan employed a genius strategy to make profits again. Then, Brazil realized that they couldn't rely on Japan for future construction projects and they had to look for other options. Later, China was called to repair the bridge, accepting Brazil's mistake in choosing Japan. After some time, Brazil planned to construct a cross-sea bridge between El Salvador and Etirica. As El Salvador is Brazil's third-largest country and the second-biggest industrial city rich in oil, the sea between the two cities made traveling quite impossible, and tourists had to use ferry boats or take a detour that took two hours to reach the other side. This time, Brazil decided to call China for this mega-project, and an agreement was reached between the two governments to construct a cross-sea cable state bridge. The bridge will be a total of 46.8 kilometers long, out of this, 12.4 kilometers will be across a C-section, and the bridge will be supported by massive cables. However, building such a long bridge across a deep sea was not an easy task. The sea's depths could reach 60 kilometers, and China had to use its technological expertise to build the bridge flawlessly. In order to achieve this, the builders had to construct main towers that were 205 meters long with a maximum span of 450 meters. This was a challenging task that had never been done before. In order to make it possible, various Chinese firms had to work together. Therefore, China Railway 20th Bureau Group and China Communications Construction Company collaborated to propose building a one-of-a-kind cable-stayed bridge. The construction of the El Salvador Bridge was a test of China's engineering capabilities, and the results speak for themselves. The project required a high level of technical and sophisticated construction, and China rose to the challenge. One remarkable feature of the bridge is the thin-walled hollow pier, which measures only 30 centimeters in width. The construction of such a feature was no small feat, but China managed to complete it flawlessly. 
The bridge serves as an impressive showcase of China's technological superiority, not only to Brazil, but to the entire world. The El Salvador Bridge is a critical infrastructure project for Brazil, with enormous potential benefits. It may appear to be an ordinary bridge, but its impact is far-reaching. The bridge will connect 45 cities and benefit 4.4 million people, significantly reducing travel time from in America to El Salvador from 2 hours to just 25 minutes. El Salvador is a significant tourist hub, but previous transport problems meant that materials could not be taken there, and tourists often had to cancel their trips due to the long journey. However, the bridge has changed everything. It has opened up new opportunities for tourism, and materials can now be transported easily to the city. The construction of the bridge will not only boost the Brazilian economy, but also strengthen Brazil's trust in China. During the project, Brazil recognized China's expertise in the construction arena, and it was a significant factor in choosing China for the project. Brazil had previously chosen Japan for a bridge construction project, but it proved to be unreliable. The bridge collapsed, and Japan only offered to repair it if Brazil paid for it. In contrast, China's reliability, strength, and cost efficiency in construction projects are well known. China's involvement in the project has only strengthened Brazil's confidence in China's abilities, and it is clear that this bridge will have a long-lasting impact on the region. At present, it seems that Brazil has developed a dependency on China for the construction of new infrastructure. While some experts may view this as a turning point where an Asian country is providing assistance to a neighboring country of the United States, the reality may be that the U.S. cannot offer the same level of assistance as China. It is ironic that a country like Brazil, which shares borders with the United States, had to rely on China for its infrastructure needs. Regardless of how the U.S. perceives China, Brazil may have no choice but to continue welcoming China for future development projects. If you found this information informative and engaging, then you might be interested in receiving more content like this in the future. To stay up to date with the latest news and insights, consider subscribing to our channel and hitting that like button. Hit the bell icon and be the first to know about future updates and informative pieces. And by liking our content, you'll help us reach a wider audience, allowing us to continue bringing you quality content. Thanks for watching.